Oh, <clears throat> sorry. I keep uh, getting interrupted, uh, but it's okay. It's not interruption when it's you guys, so uh, hello. <clears throat> We're going to get right into philosophy religion stuff. There's not a lot of new information. Um, I still got, uh, I'm still working on grading the papers. I have started them. Um, my goal was to have them done by the end of the week, so um, that's realistic. I just got a bunch of uh, assignments from my other class, which has over 100 students, but uh, you guys should be a little bit easier <laughs> since uh, there's a few of you. Uh, anyway, I hope you all are doing well. Um, you know, as we go week by week uh, into this, uh, all the, the COVID stuff, um, yeah, just uh, if you ever uh, want to just shoot me an email, uh, say hello, tell me how things are doing, that's fine too. Uh, and also, just as a reminder, I do do um, um, Zoom uh, chats, so if you just ever want to talk about stuff, uh, feel free. Okay, um, so uh, I'm going to go over the homework, okay, and specifically I'm going to go over um, the the harder problem. I, I'm, I'm posting the, the answers to the uh, exercises on Blackboard. Um, again, you, you got to watch, uh, some of you, you're, you're fine, but others of you, uh, you might be trying to do it without doing the readings or listening to the lectures, like, um, and I highly recommend you do that. Um, if you uh, got it all right or you feel really comfortable with these, then, um, um, then you should be fine, but, uh, and then you can just skip to the next video. But for a lot of you, though, I think you should uh, take some time and learn how to do this because I will be asking questions like this uh, on, the, <clears throat> on the final exam. Okay, so uh, we have this problem set, um, and you guys can read it. This I'm just going to go over problem number four, okay, uh, where you have certain symptoms and you're wondering whether you have a certain rare disease. So uh, this is super applicable to real life. Okay, this is actual. Um, you could actually use this in real life uh, when you're trying to calculate the probability that you have a certain disease, given that you have some um, symptoms. Uh, this uh, problem is motivated by one of the video, the base theorem video I posted. So um, here we go. Okay, so the first thing, if you notice, is uh, the the final question to number four is, what's the probability you have the disease given that you have those symptoms? Okay, uh, so <clears throat> immediately you want to do this. Uh, you want us to give one letter for the probability that I have the disease given that I have certain symptoms. So D is I have the disease, uh, S is I have certain symptoms, and uh, um, what we're going to want to know is what's the probability of D given S, right? What's the probability that I have the disease given that I have certain symptoms, okay? So immediately you know, oh, okay, uh, I should just uh, write out Bayes' theorem for this. And uh, there we go. Uh, whoops. Probability of D times probability S given D over, you know, that monster where you use the law of total probability. Okay. Next thing you want to do is start trying to fill in the blanks for some of these. So um, uh, here you go. Um, you learn that the probability that the disease is present in one percent of the population. So that means you immediately know the prior probability that you have the disease is 0 0.01. That immediately means that the probability that you don't have the disease, the prior probability before learning of the symptoms, is going to be 0.99. Okay. Next. Uh, there's these other blanks, like what's probably S given D? How do we fill that in? Well, uh, how do how did I get these? Well, you know that 90% um, of people with the disease have the symptoms you currently have. So get the probability that you, um, that it's 90% likely that given that you have the disease, uh, sorry, given that you have the disease, you'll have the symptoms you have. That's what you're learning when you find out that 90% of people have the disease, have the symptoms you have. And then the next part of the problem says, on the other hand, 80% of people without the disease don't have those symptoms. Okay, So the probability that you don't have the symptoms, given that you don't have the disease, is 0.8. Okay. Now, what's asked for here, oops, I just uh, scratched it off. But probability of S given not D, what we have here is probability of not S given not D, okay? But that's just going to be 0.2, okay? Because the um, if you don't have the symptoms, given that you don't have the disease, that's 0.8. It automatically follows that you, the probability that you do have the symptoms that you don't have 
given that you don't have the disease is 0.2. Okay, so the next thing you got to do is just kind of slowly try to fill in each of the blanks. Some of you don't know how to like write it out separate like this, but uh, for some of you, it might help to just go slower or more step by step, and that's totally okay. Okay, now with that, we can just start filling in the blanks. So probably a D is 0 0.01, so we fill that in there. Um, we know probably S given D is 0 0.9 there, so we fill that in there, 0 0.9. And then we can do the same there. And then probably not D is 0 0.99, so we put 0 0.99 there. Probably S given not D, well, we know that's 0 0.2, so 0 0.2. And then from there, you just have to calculate it. Okay, um, you get, uh, well, just those numbers. So after you take the test, it's a 4% likelihood that you have the disease, given that you have the certain symptoms. Now you might be, now initially, I just, this is the power based theorem. Initially, you might have thought, oh, look, there's a 90% likelihood that if I have the disease, then I'll have these symptoms. Given that I have disease, I'll have these symptoms of 0.9, okay? But that's not going to tell you the probability that you do have the disease given that you do have the symptoms, probably D given S. All right, so um, even after you, after you learn those symptoms, it's still only a 4% likelihood that you have the disease, given that you have the symptoms that you do. All right, so um, that's me saying hello and going over some of the questions. Um, now, some of you might still be struggling, and it might just take uh, a Zoom meeting with me to talk this through. Um, and that's okay. You know, some of you learn this really fast, or some of you will be slower with it. So um, and, uh, just contact me. Uh, some of you hate math. Uh, but, um, and by the way, this is the, the math, most mathy we're going to get on these problems. So, uh, all right, on that note, uh, we'll move on to the next video.